Hello and welcome back to Alice Ghost Sailing. In this episode, I'm going to be upgrading my solar panels. As you can see, this is the old one. It's 20 watts and I have two of them, so that's 40 watts. I'm going to be upgrading to a 30 watt panel and that's two of them, so that's 60 watts. I will have to change the mounting, but I'll show you all of that. That's all 3D printed. And I'm also going to do a few other small jobs on the side. So yeah, stay tuned. The reason why I'm upgrading these panels is, well, one of them's dead, so that doesn't really help. Um, and also these are 20 watts, and I kind of want a little bit more juice, because when it gets cloudy, um, they don't really perform too great. The mounting as well has also failed on them. These well, are made out of PLA, made by Sam on his 3D printer, and designed by Sam. And they failed only because they're PLA, and the age of the water has gotten to them, because. PLA as a material isn't up to UV or water really uh, and it is biodegradable so it's, it's probably not best suited to marine grade so we'll be updating that with some ASA mounts that I'm going to print on my printer um, they're going to be basically the same design and they're just going to fit onto the other new panels um, but apart from that yeah these are just cheap cheerful panels and these are poly panels not mono panels and mono panels are more efficient and well, why not have them? So yeah, we're gonna get rid of this. And we're upgrading to this. So this is that 30 watt panel. And this has got a texture to it where the other panel was smooth. This is also a mono panel, so more efficient. And yeah, it's a lot more rigid because the way they've made it by making it all uh, dimpled and it's very, a little bit thicker. So a bit more stiff. So that works well for when we hang it off the side of the boat on the new mounts. Now for the mounts, I've designed some new ones, uh, which are basically a copy of the other ones, just slightly different to suit the bigger panels and the, the heavier weight. Um, so as you can see on this side, we've got my tester piece, which I 3D printed and uh, got some dimensions done correctly. Um, the main thing was getting the same diameter for the rail mount and also extending out the support to clip in around the side so you get like a, a hook on the edge of the panel so that it just clips on no bolts are needed to secure the panel and i'm not even going to use uh, any adhesive to stick this down because as you can see it doesn't slide or move at all when you move it or try to move it so that's quite good now this test piece was done in pla so we can't actually use it but this is done in asa now asa is uv resistant and more suited to the outdoors so that should do quite well on this boat i would think so yeah i've printed four of these now and all i've got to do is replace this test one that i have on here and uh, i'll show you how i do that now on the new asa mount you can see we have a recess for a nut that's going to go in there and then the bolt comes through and clamps down so all we've got to do now is press in this nut into this hole and uh, yeah and these are nylock nuts as well so they lock in a little better and yeah, and if you can see that, I've just located it and I'm going to push it the rest of the way. So that's now underneath the surface so it doesn't protrude. And then the bolt just simply pushes through. And then we just tighten that up and tighten it. And that will be our mount ready. So if we get our panel, you can mount these any which way. Um, but for this panel, because I want to have the wires coming out this end and I want it clamping through rail on this top side. What we're going to do is get this, you've got to, this is such a tight tolerance. Um, it's maybe only a millimetre off from what it should be. So it's getting it to situate at the end. I don't want to bend the panel too much. And then it just slides itself on. Just wherever you want it. Yeah, so very little play and movement. So now we can fit this onto the side of the boat. So we're gonna fit this on now. I'm just gonna move these wires out of the way a little bit. I'll drop them off down that side. And then what you gotta do is rest it. I have it so this sits about here because I've got a very tight radius and this arm coming down. And then you just 
plink it down it just snaps into place and I can adjust where the panel sits so it sits a bit further back which is what I might do um, but we're going to get the uh, bolts uh, sticking through there now all I have to do is adjust the tightness because you can see when it gets to horizontal it wants to drop so all I've got to do is tighten these up a little bit but you can see the full range of motion so I can have it that's probably about 80 degrees and then I can have it down well 90 degrees at the other side so I can take full advantage of the sun when it's setting so I will have to shorten these wires up a little bit because they're a little long for just going to there so I will shorten these up but that's easy enough crimp on the fresh connector click it into the housing and then add on this little waterproof grommet thing so that's easy enough but yeah all I've got to do is mount on the other side right I have both sides fitted up now so that's it there no bolts needed to secure the panel the panel itself is pretty rigid uh, I need to put a bolt in on this side because I haven't got one but that's just with one bolt and that can hold its weight just like that so two it's gonna be plenty on my little readout here we've got 3.5 amps coming in from the panels with nothing else running and uh, that's a decent amount of charge I've seen it up to four amps now the next small project I have is wiring in a permanent plug for the solar blanket I have now the solar blanket is about 150 watts I think if I remember rightly um, but it basically comes with this sort of plug I basically stripped the end off and it's going to connect up to another one of these that I found for a decent price uh, and that's right here but we're going to put this probably in the back corner over there um, right at the back where there's loads of room um, and it'll be nice and easy to get the wire to run to it um, and then we'll give it a little test so I'm going to get to wiring right I've just got it installed all I need to do is screw it down but I'm doing a bit of testing I've connected it via the Victron app and it's running a little update because if you can see we were on 2.14 and now we're going 2.37 so pretty big update and it's nice and easy to connect all it is is a, a pin normally it's just 0000, zero, 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 zero. connect with Bluetooth and then it'll give you all of the information and then I've got two controllers on here so I've got that one there so yeah I'm gonna go get the uh, solar bank kit and set it up on the roof I'm still waiting for the sun to come out but here is the solar blanket that I have. Yeah, this just unfolds, so typically I just lay it out on the deck like this. Um, I can tilt it against the rails if I want to lean it against the sun or anything like that. But apart from that, it's pretty easy. I can kind of angle it. Oh, the sun's coming back out. So if I grab the power lead from the solar, and then in under here where we put the plug, I can pull it out a little bit and there's the plug what I've got to do is push fit there push that back in this wire can be run up and then out because there's a little hole here when the hat slides shut so I can have this closed if I wanted to um, but yeah let's see if it's putting out some power right I'm going to pop this up on screen but this is the Victron app and you've got to select whatever controller you want to select so for us it's the 115 which is this array here that we just wired in so tap that there it loads it up might ask you for a pin but at the minute we're kicking out 20 watts of solar and that's at 16 18 volts at one amp and then that outputs it into well whatever the battery is and that's 13.3 ish at the minute and that's 1.4 amps going into the battery now that I've finished these little upgrades for Marakai, we will be back on the water for the start of the season next episode. And even better, Sam is back for this adventure. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.